What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian? <sighs> Henry Cavill seems to, you know, his has said, you know, he wants to be Superman. And, and I've heard this argument about Henry Cavill using the MCU sort of... Uh, I guess uh As leverage. Tool. Well, yes, leverage. So that he can get what he wants to be Superman. So the rumor is that Henry Cavill is supposed to show up as Hyperion in Loki 2. Now, Hyperion is a Superman-like character. Speed, cape, strength, all that stuff. Just looks a little different. Brian, do you think there's any chance of this really happening, or do you think this is a form of leverage that he's using? What are your thoughts on this uh, possibility? I think it's a low probability. I mean, it feels like these days Henry Cavill is being almost like photoshopped into every possible MCU role. It's like one week he's Reed Richards because he's fixing his own computer, and like the next week he's, you know, now he's Hyperion, which ironically it's a different Hyperion, but he. He fought Hyperion in Immortals when he was Theseus a lot of ah, time. Yes, 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 yes. Mickey Rourke yes. was Hyperion, the villain in that movie. Um, you know, but we've also heard, I mean, back in the day, it's like there was talk, there was like people wanting him to be like Wolverine. There's been like, you know, we 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 floated like maybe he could be Doom, but like Captain Britain, that was a hot rumor like last year when What If was coming out. Like on the one hand, like I have no doubt that Marvel has talked to him. I have no doubt that it's been you know, similar almost to the conversation that Giancarlo Esposito was talking about, where he's like, I went in, there were three roles, you know, we kind of, you know, we've talked about multiple roles, and here's the one I like, and Taron Edgerton's kind of said the same thing, I went in and sat down with Kevin Feige, and it was a number of roles we looked at, like, I'm sure they've had that meeting with Henry mm -hmm. Cavill, but I'm not, I'm just not convinced that, like, what's going on here is, like, totally on the level because of the whole ongoing, you know, his his agent is The Rock's ex-wife and business manager, and the WB is still in limbo, and, like, I don't think he's coming back as Superman, but then, like, it sounds like if he, if it sounds like he wouldn't come back unless he had a lot of say and a lot of bag, you know, mm -hmm. alongside that to, to do this again, so it does have that feel of like, he's just kind of negotiating with everyone and trying to get his own asking price as high as possible before he kind of makes, makes a decision. And I don't know. I just, and I can't say either that I've seen the, the one role where I'm like, yes, like that's, that would be perfect for him. I don't know that I've seen that yet. And in part, it's because of what you said, which is like, I think Henry Cavill as star is right now is better than Henry Cavill as actor. Yeah. He's better at being famous than he is at performing. Yeah. I don't know if that's because he can't do it. I just think it's because he hasn't really done it yet. Well, honestly, on a consistent basis. He has yeah. done it, but not he's done it in flashes, not Brian, he should be bond. But he's not gonna be, it doesn't sound like. Sounds like he's aged out of that role. And that's crazy. He's perfect for Bond. He also doesn't look, that's the thing is like, they're like, they, we can talk about it separately. But like, supposedly they want an actor in their 30s. And I'm like, Henry Cavill still looks like he's in his 30s. Like, if yeah. Bond is not the same as Superman to me. Like, Gruffle him up a little bit and just, yeah. you know, but I don't know. Um, you know who Alan Richson is, right? Yeah, I love him. Reacher. Uh, by the way, Alan Richin, friend of the genre. I mean, original Aquaman in Smallville. Um, Hawk, Hawk in Titans. Yeah. And now he's blown up as a star. I mean, he's really good in Reacher. Have you watched that series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah he's awesome. really good in that yeah, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was good. And he's going to be a villain in Fast 10. Alongside yeah, Jason Momoa. Yeah. 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 So. That dude, I'm telling you, he's ripe for like a, a role in the MCU or or DC, I would pick him in DC and I would tell you who I would cast him as. But if if you wanted to do Hyperion and you wanted him to look almost comic book accurate, this would be the guy. 
Well, he's like six five, and the way he's built for Reacher, I mean, the guy looks like an absolute Greek god. So you could literally put that in the role. But I mean, I mean right now, I, was, I look at him like if he wanted to be like Colossus, he could be that. You know, it's like he's huge in that Hercules. series. Hercules. Yeah. But for him, and not to move over to DC, but for him, if you, Brian, if you wanted to do a comic book accurate Bruce Wayne Batman, brought to life uh, straight out the comic books and would be that guy Adam Rich you think he can't he does have the look I know what you're saying because he has the blue eyes he's got the jawline Jaw. and that's the physique built, he's built like the comics Bruce Wayne which we exactly never seen. exactly yeah. he he would be perfect for that um if they because listen I don't mind what Matt Reeves is doing I don't mind seeing two different Batman I've ne- how many Batman Batman's have we seen, Brian, in animation and live action? Well, we, it's like, well, we come on, got, who cares at this point? Well, we got three of them at least running around live action right now with Keaton, Affleck, and Benson. Like, who cares? As long as you make it dope, <laughs> you know. So that would be that would be my guy for 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 that role for long. He would be perfect. Anyway, getting back to Cavill though, like. Yeah. I can't tell how much of this is real or not, but like if you kind of put together a lot of these stories, there's like a there's like a whiff of Henry. Is he is he difficult? Like there's there's like a whiff of that in this, right? Like are you starting to get that sense that like he obviously like you don't hear anything bad about him on the set of The Witcher, so I don't want to like speak out of turn, but like when I see all these stories and it's like it just sounds like it's hard to get him into a role or he's playing hardball about this. And I don't know. Like there's I mean, a thing that like and I hear you. Might be hard to kind of fit into a big broad universe construct. I think it has to do with with possibly his agent. She reminds she reminds me of Scott Boris. Yeah, there's definitely I mean that the rock DNA, I mean that definitely <laughs> That's what that. I'm talking about, Brian. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It may not be him. It's just I don't know that whatever situation he does, just he's hands off. He lets his agent do it, and the agent is doing being difficult in terms of what you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's yeah. But the analogy is like you're she's pitching him as Tom Cruise, but he doesn't have Tom Cruise's resume. You know, it's like Tom Cruise's controls every aspect of his operation but i'm like i don't know top gun maverick top gun like war of the worlds minority report like you know the Lord list goes on july few good men jerry McGuire. the list goes on the list Mission goes on impossible. i mean this guy has been doing it for 40 some odd years he has earned the right to, to do what he pick wants. up a phone and say this is what's gonna be what yeah and so that's the problem, Brian. Yeah. That's the problem. Let's you got dudes going out there thinking that they're they're that when they've just been like, I mean, I don't know, Brian. I don't know what's I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I, I don't want to go too far, <laughs> you know, but it's just it's like you got dudes out there that, that think they deserve certain leeway and, and it's like yo you haven't you haven't earned it yo you really haven't i've seen some henry cavill movies you'd be like yo this is this is not good yeah it's like how do you put that on your resume and and, yeah. and like yeah and that's where it's kind of like you know if the if marvel wants you in a role history would say you will do well taking a little less and trusting their creative to get you out of the gate. Yeah. And, you know, we, we've critiqued what's happened in Ragnarok and Love and Thunder. But that's the model. It's like Hemsworth was a nobody when he got Thor. And he kind of worked his way through the system to where they were kind of like, all right, we'll try it. You're, you know, and then he had a big hit with Ragnarok and point is you can get the influence later if you play ball early yeah